Hey guys, heck is Steve again here. Hope everyone's having a great day. I'm back on DK Oldie's website again to take a quick laugh at uh, some of these prices here, specifically looking at PlayStation right now. Uh, so I went over here to the PS1, $159.99 for a good condition system. Now you save 10 bucks because it's normally $169.99. Well, how nice of them to hook us up like that. By the way, I've never seen these things not on sale. It's just a tactic to make you think you're saving money. The same way that one grocery store has a pack of bologna for four bucks, buy one, get one free. And then the next grocery store just has bologna for $2 a pack. It's just to make you feel better, even though they're bending you over. <sighs> but anyways, looking here at the PS1, $159.99 for good condition. Now, if they had a cosmetically flawed system that they kicked down the hallway and farted on, It'd be $114.99, but so $159.99. So let's go over here to the PS2. Okay, $209.99, and that's if you don't opt into their good controller, you know, your original Sony controller, or $240 if you do get the good controller. And you know, just comparing those two, they're $160 for a PlayStation. See. Business tactics like this is exactly why the gaming collecting market is so outrageous right now. Because a PS2 can play PS1 games. Which means that it's far more valuable than a PS1. However, they're saying if you consider $209.99 versus $159.99, they're saying that a PS2 is only worth $50 more. Uh, I mean, I don't know why anybody would ever want to pay $160 for a PS1 unless it was like a limited edition or something like that. But moving forward, so, so far, stay with me now. PS1, $160. PS2, $210 with a third-party controller. PS3, 500 gigabyte system. Good condition, $289.99. Oh, but you saved $40. Now... These damn things were 300 bucks brand new when they came out. This is the super slim model, like the last model they did. Now, this is where DK Oldies starts flexing their uh, muscles on ripping people off. Because if you look at the PS4, 289.99, 500 gigabyte PlayStation 4. So they're saying that a PS3 and a PS4 give you the same value. Despite the fact that a PS4 is way more powerful, it still has access to online. Whereas the PS3, I'm pretty sure they shut that down. Or, like, it's very limited now. It's nuts. No way in hell I would ever pay $289.99 for a PS3 Slim when I could get a PS4 for the same price. And I wouldn't pay these prices anyways. Keep that in mind. But PS3, $289.99. Now, consider the PS2... You know, if you do get the Sony controller, which you're going to want that. They're saying that a PS2 Slim is only worth about $50 less than a fucking PS3. Like, are you kidding me right now? I used to work at a local game store. And you could literally get a PS1 for like $25. Because it's not worth that much. And we would clean them. And, you know, test them. Make sure they all worked. If you bought them, you got a 90-day warranty. You know, of course, you do get the 120-day warranty with uh, old DK Oldies here. Now, bear in mind, I'm sure that means you buy a good condition and then you have a problem. They'll either want you to send it in and get it fixed, which could take a couple weeks. Or they'll send you, you know, whatever they have, which could be cosmetically flawed. And, you know, they're not going to give a damn if they uh, if they do that to you. But yeah, so just looking at the PlayStation consoles here, I mean, this is this is crazy. Matter of fact, if you add all this up, like 290, 290 again, that's like I don't know, 600 and something dollars. Hold on, let's let's add it up. All right, so 290 times 2. Okay, and the PS2 was 240. Let's let's say you don't even get the original controller. Let's make it cheaper, okay? Cut them some slack. 209.99, so 210. 
So plus 210. And then a PS1, 159.99. So let's say you want, you're like, I want to collect PlayStation systems. They're trying to tell you that to own four PlayStation systems is $950. I could literally go on eBay <laughs> and probably get like five games each and every console with multiple controllers and probably still be under 950 bucks. And I might even do that as a video in the future, but this is crazy. I, I just can't believe that people buy from this website. Um, I don't even know what to say. Now, granted, you can get you a cosmetically flawed PS4 for two thirty nine ninety nine. So technically, you could get a PS3 for more money than a PS4. Uh, but if they did have a cosmetically flawed PS3, you know, then it would be like twenty five dollars less. I really don't feel like PlayStation Three is worth so much that it's barely worth less than a PS4. God. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to have that quick laugh and appreciate you guys sticking out to the end of the video. Uh, make sure you leave comments, man. Let me know how you feel. If anyone that's watching this has shopped with DK Oldies before, you know, I don't mean to disrespect you by saying that you got ripped off or anything. Uh, you know, buy where you want to, but I'm just letting you know there are better options out there. So appreciate you guys staying to the end and I'll catch you next time. Have a great, uh, rest of your day. All right. Take care.